Hi, Dr. Lina. You may be wondering, in our past videos, we are talking about some miraculous achievements of some sunyatis. They could go for astral traveling, projection of consciousness over a distance, and saw the angels or naga and etc. Over many of my talks and lectures of sunya, I caution the sunyati, do not practice for miracles or the supernatural power, because they do not solve our problems and never bring bring in peace and prosperity for us. Then why I started to talk about the supernatural achievement of some sunyati here? The reason is very simple. Human beings are curious in nature and love to explore the unknown. Also, many gurus, baba, and the so-called religious teacher love to use their supernatural power to all their followers so that they can donate more money and let them live a lavish life. Our mind is powerful, very powerful, and Sunya is a training of the mind. From the very first day I started to teach Sunya, 30 years ago, until today, we have a lot of miraculous testimonies. Since the mind is powerful, the currents of supernatural experiences are happening once in a while during the practice of Sunya, and we have to address it correctly. There are some Guru and Babas, during their meditations, they experienced something extraordinary. Then they started to claim heaven and earth. Suddenly, they are the chosen one from high above. You pay them some amount of tuition fees or donate huge amount of money. You will achieve enlightenment and gain. Or those superpower. The most common claim is the levitation. That they can float in there. In the early days of Sunya, one of my friends told me he had learned some powerful meditation from a guru and he can live with it in air. He spent a lot of money to learn uh, to lay from one level to the other. I asked him to demonstrate to me how he levitated. Then he crossed his leg and sat down and started to hit the ground, hit the ground and, and make himself jump into the air. I told him this is jumping. I'm not levitating. He said, no worry. This is the initial stage. Many people can't even jump when they cross the leg now. And now he could jump into the air. The guru told him he was at one stage already. But they paid more money to learn. One day he could lev levitate and float in the air. I asked him, have you seen the guru float in the air? He said, no. But the guru saw them, uh, the photo, he was floating in the air. And when coaching them, the guru could jump high into the air. No? I told him, you must be an idiot. No? The so-called photos of so in the air are the momentary snapshot when they jump into the air. Anybody with a Photoshop can create such a photo. He insisted his guru could float. Only the very high level students no, have seen them. Then I asked him, no, have you met any of the so-called high level students? He said, nope. Actually, he himself is considered high level already because he could jump very high into the air. Then he told me he may not levitate in the real practice, but one time in his dream, he found himself floating in the air. My stomach was pained from laughing at him. Then I told him the story of Mrs. Chong. At least she could travel to the top of the clouds and even to Jupiter and come back. Now. This is a thousand times more powerful than the so-called levitation. And yet we discourage the discussion during the Sunya practice and never told the Sunyati, you pay me certain amount of money, you know, I can teach you, you know, from one level to, add, to another, then one day you can travel to Jupiter for free. I told him, you have not seen your guru floating in the air and yet you pay so much to learn the skill that no one had demonstrated to you. And in my Sunya practice, at least we have seen the few who, ex who experience Astral traveling, which is many times more powerful than floating in the air quietly like a donkey. Eventually, uh, he was convinced such practice to levitate was useless and only a means to extract money from ill informed students. The problem was he wanted to experience astral traveling when practicing Sunya. He was a small time contractor and at that time he, he, the economy was not good. And basically, he was in financial difficulties. I asked him, if you could travel to Jupiter, 
Would it solve his financial problem? He said, no, it could not. And I told him, what's the point of extra traveling? What? Is it useless? It cannot bring peace and prosperity to you. Uh, they convinced him eventually. Uh, after that, he started to study the sutra and practice the Dhamma and meditation correctly. Eventually, got up of his financial difficulties, not by levitation or astral travel to Jupiter, but by doing his duty and follow the law of cause and effects. Other than levitation, there were a lot of false claims by the Guru. I saw a few videos of a Guru in India and even in Africa. The Samanic Guru can make the Dihas Kokona rule on the ground. Then someone challenged them using the whole coconut, <laughs> the coconut can roll. At the end of the day, the magic buster broke open the coconut and all. I found that inside, inside the guru had placed mice in it and sealed back the coconut. No wonder the coconut can roll. So in the future, if any guru saw the coconut roll on the ground, bring him a whole coconut and ask him to perform the power and see if the coconut can roll or not. We are training the sunyate. Never buy the story of those gurus or religious teachers claiming levitation and can make the object float in the air. Believe me, they can only show you the pictures, not the real sin. And in rare occasions, they hypnotize the audience and make them believe they can float. You can see in many YouTube demonstrations, the rope climber who can make the rope rise in the sky and then let it come in and all. Oh, amazing! They wrap a stiff pile you know, and make it look like a rope so, and buried it in the earth. So when the mystical music started, they use hydraulic, hydraulic force so, to raise the steel rope into the sky and let them climb on it. Other than claiming to float himself or some object in the air, many Guru and Baba claim they could communicate with the angels. Many of the claim were simply cheating and hoax. Because in uh, Sunya, we have Sunyati seeing the angels by themselves. The encounters were far from the spectacular claim like that of the Guru. Today, let me tell you the story of the forest monk who, who can uh, could uh, communicate with the angels. And he himself told me, this kind of communication is useless, no? Let, me, let us see why it is useless. He told me, before that, he worked as a uh, police officer in the anti narcotic uh, narcotic section. Actually, it is an open secret now uh, in uh, Southeast Asia, country like Thailand, Malaysia, and even uh, Philippines. One, they are certain a person is a narcotic cartel. The police would shoot him dead. Now. This is a brutal practice. Uh, we we never endorse it. Now uh, we're just telling you the story here. So he was a narcotic trafficker assassin, killing the drug cartels. Once the anti-narcotic department identified the main trafficker. After a few assassinations, he started to lose sleep, you know, and experience nightmare in the sleep. Finally, in his last mission, you know, he rode a motorcycle and killed a drug dealer in one marketplace, which are full of people. Maybe the family members there, the horror and Pins in their voices now, drill deep into his mind. After that, he could not sleep anymore. The despair and horror and the yelling of people haunted him again and again. You know. Then he started to go to a nightclub to boost himself out you know, and taking prostitute for sex. Hopefully, the nightmare could go away. It never worked. Finally, he went to the temple to ask forgiveness for his sins. The chief monk advised him to go to the forest and become a forest monk, to live in solitary and repent his bad karma, transferring his marriage and energy for those he killed. When he practiced meditation, a lot of spirit come and disturb him, and he decided to leave Thailand and come to Malaysia. Changing the environment did lessen the burden in his mind. He, he, he ended in the forest in the state of police the most northern state of Malaysia sharing a common border with Thailand. In Paris, the mountain is mainly limestone in nature and have a lot of caves, so he chose one of them and stayed in it to meditate. During the meditation, he started to see some uh, supernatural beings uh, came and disturbed him. Initially, he saw a funny tiger, which was a, a, a very long body, you know, roaring fearfully and encircling him. Encircling him. 
the body of the tiger was so long no? Wow, as a gang him, uh, could meet uh, head to tail. He kept telling the tiger, if you wish to eat me, I have no objection at no. If you want to eat, eat me now. No. But please stop making that rolling sound or no. it disturb my meditation. <laughs> then the tiger stopped rolling after some time, walk away and never return again. Then at one time there appeared a huge serpent. The body was long and huge and the head was as big as a table. No. The serpent, the serpent encircled him, okay, and opened the huge mouth, no, like it was going to swallow him down. The monk also told the serpent, no, I am sorry for my sins. If you want to eat me, you know, you can eat me now, but please do not show your mouth like that to me, you know. The serpent closed the mouth, stared at him for a long time, eventually went away and never returned. The last step to him was the appearance of a beautiful lady, totally naked, and invite him for sex. The monk told me that that was the worst test. He was not afraid of the tiger and the serpent. But somehow the lady transformed into the type of girls that uh, he liked most, you know. Okay, he had to keep on telling himself, Oh, I'm a monk, I'm a monk, no sex for me, no sex for me. After this uh, last text, no more horrible things uh, came to disturb him. As he kept on transferring his energy, you know, and married to whoever was around him. Eventually some angels uh, actually uh, came to him. Since then he could see something far away, the thinking of others, etc. through the help of the angels. I normally do not take miraculous claims easily and want them to demonstrate to me. The monk with his eyes open could tell me in great detail what my house looked like. It amazed me. But the monk told me not to believe those fortune teller who can describe your house clearly. Okay, uh, and this is uh, and this is from the help of the spirits. They can tell you, you your past, but never predict your future correctly, you know. All these are useless tick, tricks. I asked him, how, how do you know someone is using the power of angel to see things? He told me, one of the common practices is they are eating sweets now, during fortune theory. This is to feed the energy to the spirit. Later I found one Chinese Baba from Australia, gathered a huge crowd of people, you know, and he could know your, how your house look like, whether a woman has done abortion or someone has done something bad in the past. He had the switch you know, before closing the eyes and then waking the woman you know, who asked him a question for, for her past abortion and frightened uh, her to hell. Then of course, uh, they, they have to pay money you know, to settle the sinful problem. He amassed tens of millions of dollars. You know. Even many religious parties warn that he is not Buddhist and against the precepts of to do all this acts. Thousands of people still get to see him as they are all by his ability to tell your secret. And he claims he is empowered by our Kite Swara. Like many gurus who claim they are endorsed by the God, many unfortunate, uninformed uh, believe this and uh, donate a lot of money you know, to wash their sin. In Sunya, we always tell the Sunyati, do not believe those Guru and Baba that show off their miraculous power. Many of that is through association with evil spirit. And, and you cannot use money, you know, to wash your sin clean, you know. You must clean yourself through good practice in Sunya and serving humanity. In the practice of Sunya, we leave those spirits and angels alone and never want to interact with them. And they bring more trouble than giving us any benefits. But we are not afraid you know, of the spirit or angels uh, to disturb us. The energy of meditation is very strong and harmful to them if they dare to come near. As even today, many cheaters are using the spirit and ghosts to frighten people. They keep on claiming you are possessed by certain evil that you have to pay money for them to get rid of the, the, the evils. As soon as they, we never need those idiots no, and cheaters. When you practice more advanced into Sunya, you will realize the practice of Sunya is powerful. No evil spirits dare to come near to you. It is our duty you know, to teach people to lead a peaceful life and not keep on worrying about the evil spirit and demons. We did coach and guide the Sunya Council how to deal with such cases, which 99% were psychological problem rather than due to any evil spirit. So in future, we need to train you to differentiate a psychological case and a real haunted case. What you need to learn today is that you don't need any belief to help you for this. Sunya is powerful enough to handle the problem for you. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.